there's been an improving curve when it comes to Turkish-made over-unders. Turkish guns have been coming in for probably at least 15, 20 years now, but the quality continues to improve. And one of the guns that really shows that quality is the Ada S2. Now, this is an over-under side-by-side shotgun. It's offered in a number of configurations, but this is a sporting gun, and it actually comes with a very nice Turkish walnut stock, at least on this example. It's checkered here. This is a, kind of a wide, semi-beaver tail forend. Clay shooters really like that. But then when you get to the buttstock, you'll notice that there's actually an adjustable comb. Now, at the price of this gun, you do not expect to see that. You simply put the wrench in, turn it, you can adjust your comb height. When you get to the grip, you can see, of course, it too is checkered, but it has a very generous palm swell. Again, this really does feel like a much more expensive target gun. When you get to the buttstock, you have a rubber butt pad, of course, and then you have a hard insert so that when you bring the gun to your shoulder, it doesn't snag on your clothes. Mechanically, this gun should look very familiar. Of course, this is a box lock, and it has mechanical triggers, and they are selectable mechanical triggers. You can either choose the top barrel or the lower barrel, and of course, when the gun's ready to fire, a red dot is revealed. This is not on automatic safety. Now, coming to the front of the gun, you'll see you've got an Anson push rod. Push that down, you can take your forend off, and then when you open the gun up, you'll see a very familiar pattern. Now, of course, there are two locking bolts that protrude from the front of the receiver that lock into these two recesses. These pins go forward, and that locks the gun from going up and down. When you look here, these are the surfaces that keep the gun locked side to side. And actually, the bluing's pretty well. They're built on a monoblock principle with actual jeweling here along the ejectors. On top of the barrel, you have a cross-hatched tapered vent rib, and of course, there's a red fiber optic bead out here at the front. Now this gun does take interchangeable choke tubes, and those two are of a very familiar pattern, especially if you know what's going on in that receiver. Now on the inside of the receiver, you'll see there are dual cocking rods. So after the, the gun has been fired, uh, the ejector sears trip, and then when you open the gun, surfaces actually push these two rods back, cocking the hammers, and the hammers are powered by coil springs. So all in all, this Ada S2 is quite a lot of gun, especially for the money. Again, this is designed to be an affordable gun, but the craftsmanship is nice. The bluing is fairly even. There's even jeweling on some of the action parts. And all in all, this is a gun that I would not be ashamed to take to the Clay's range. For more reviews of firearms and shooting gear, check out the latest edition of American Rifleman the magazine.